Welcome to My Yarn Spun Life. This is Lizzie, your yarn host. I am recording out here in the vehicle, partly because I wanted to get the little bit of garden that I planted yesterday. I wanted to record that, and I did. i insert the clip here. These are my plants. Looks like somebody's dug in there. Not good. That is my radishes. Over there, I planted my lettuce. And here's my tomatoes. These are the heirloom Cherokee purple. And then there's the purple bell peppers. And here's the hillbillies. And I'm gonna be planting more. I got a bit earlier start this year. Last year it was like June 1st when I got it planted. So I'm hoping to have a better yield this year. If not, so be it. I This video is going to be... Well, first of all, let me tell you that... I, I, the software I have been using the last year ran out, so I'm trying to figure out what software I want to use, and so it might have a watermark, or it might be weird, I, I don't know. So, keep that in mind, if it's not as good as it used to be. Like, my videos are great. But anyways, I think they are a little bit. Anyways, I went, then I went out to the mailbox to get the package I, it was delivered today. They actually got it in the mailbox, which it was a few cakes and a couple of skeins. They were having the, Premier Yarns was having the, One kind of cakes, uh, sweet roll, no, DK everyday cakes, I might put it down, I'm gonna put it on the screen what it is, I can't think of right now, but I was, ma I was making some for a friend of ours, for their baby that they're gonna have, and I needed more in the, uh, last week, I think it was last week, it was three for a three for ten dollars. And they're like usually in five fifty nine five forty nine or something like that. It's I mean it's not I like let's put it this way. I've said it before. I like to get yarn when it's on sale. And when that was on sale I was like, Hey, I need three more cakes of that, another skein and the skein yeah, anyways. So I got that. I'm not even gonna show it. But I am going to show, oh, last Monday, I did meet up with some of my friends for lunch, and it w I was awkward about it. I made a tiny clip. I'll insert that here. Here, is it recording? Yeah, here I am with, um... Tammy's grandmother Ruth. She made that shawl for her. Here's my friend Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> and I'll add more. But I, and mom and my sister was Laura was here too, but they don't really want to be on the video. <laughs> so anyways, I'll it was very nice to see Tammy and Ruth and Stephanie and of course my mom and Laura. I see them at least every other week. But Tammy and Stephanie, Stephanie I haven't seen forever. And Ruth, I haven't, Tammy and Ruth I haven't seen for a good while either. It's been maybe, last time I think we saw each other I went down, we went had went down to their place and yeah, so it was 
nice to see them again. I mean, I'm, I'm someone that I don't mind staying at home most of the time. But I also see I need to be with friends. And, oh, that was just the day after th uh, Mother's Day. And we had a great Mother's Day. Actually, that kind of ended up kind of being the Mother's Day lunch. Because, well, Tammy kind of did that for Ruth, which is her grandma. And we did it for Mom. We were going. We we're thinking about going to Chinese Sunday, but we just. I think Laura's going to take Mom some during the week sometime. And since I like sushi real well, Laura and I likely will go some Sunday because they have sushi at least Sundays. I think Saturday, so we might go Saturday instead of a Sunday. But, yeah, I went to church with Mom Sunday, and that was very sweet. And, yeah. So, I'm going to say, say a little bit of what I've been doing the last while. I've been making quite a few. I have the uh, uh, towels. I haven't finished these. I mean, well, I did... Um, I have to put the button on, but it goes around like that. Oh, man, my camera is... I'm crooked, but that's okay. Good, Paul, for the picture. That's one of them that I did. Here's another towel that I did. Now this I didn't uh, hide the uh, so in the ends yet. I think I have one more. Oh yeah, I do have one more. This they're all cotton. This I did the corner to corner. But I don't think I would do it again for, I might do it for a washcloth. But it was hard to put this on top. Now this I did put the button on. You just go over it. You can put it on a refrigerator, stove. And you just put it in. And there you have it. This is longer. I like to put this in the bathroom. I like to keep this myself. But yeah. I kind of like making these. Then. I just finished this today. It's another shawl. It's the half circle that I like to do. And this I kind of did a little bit different. I started out up here doing it one. Then I did the eyelet road right there. Then I went for three. From here to here. And then I... Went to five, then I went to seven, then I did nine rows, and then I didn't have, then I just finished the bottom out. But yeah, this is how it looks. I think I'll send this to Rose, like crochet. She has a um, she's doing a, she does stuff for, um, women that have been abused and stuff, and they're, um, well, you'll just have to 
she's after put the link down. So she donates different stuff throughout the year to this organization called the Wings, or the Just Wings, and I believe it's this in May that they're accepting shawls, or is it June? I'll have to look that up. But I wanted to make that. I usually like to make my shawls bigger, but hey, I'm and I I like to follow pattern somewhat, but I also sometimes like to just put my touch to it, you know. So that's why I did on this. And yeah. I do not have much anything else. I still have that honeycomb blanket that I'm crocheting. I think I'm almost done with it. Which that's spoken for already. But I think these towels. I'm going to finish it up. And put it on my Etsy store. So hopefully that's coming in the next couple days. And oh. Then yeah. that, that day before. It was Saturday. I had went to women's meeting with mom. It was a Mother's Day thing. Laura and I got to go. Miriam wasn't there, but that's understandable because she has two young kids. And she is, she lives like an hour and a half away and, from mom's. And the lunch, the brunch or whatever was at 9 o'clock, so it was really early. So, and then Wednesday... Just to make this video longer and give an update on Dad, I haven't for a while. He's still in the rest home. Oh. Why can't I say? He, I think he dreams that he can still walk. And then he wakes up and thinks he can. And... He declares he can walk, but of course, the people in the the home doesn't, I mean, we know better. And finally, Miriam did take Dad out on a ride Tuesday, no, Wednesday, and... He wants to so badly go home and do work. Well, he just, it seems like he just doesn't, can't grasp the fact, face the facts. And he thinks if he goes home, he'll be able to walk. And he's not really doing therapy because... He thinks they don't know nothing in there. Uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a road. But we, you know, keep talking to him. We go visit him, mom and law especially, and I. We go to the window and and stuff. But I mean. Maybe I should, I'm just saying, you know, but yeah, he, like when he, they were out in, on a ride, he wanted to go to Respects, which is a grocery store, and he wanted to get a cart and push it around. Well, of course we won't let him because he would fall, I mean, and yeah, it's just a, whole big deal and uh, so but we really dearly love him and we're glad he's still here but it's hard so anyhow I've got to stop saying anyhow and I am really washed out I am out here I'm in the shade but Anyhow, 
There I go again. Well, if I could make you laugh today a little bit, I feel that I accomplished maybe something. Anyhow, oh, I have a very bad habit. Well, I'm going to close this. And thank you for watching. Have you watched until now? Thank you. And remember, Jesus does love you. And I, I love you too. And you have a wonderful day. Bye.